Hello Taurus, how are you? Welcome to my channel, Star 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 and welcome to your reading. So Taurus, this is your reading uh, for the month of February 2022 and this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa and time is fluid, okay? Uh, Taurus, I would appreciate if you would hit like, share and subscribe and comment down below if you find yourself getting resonated with this reading. I would also request you to hit that notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I upload the videos. Taurus, uh, <clears throat> before I proceed to lay down the cards, I would just like to inform you that that reading for Valentine's has been uploaded on Vimeo. Okay, and I'll say that it is one of the best readings that I have done and I was absolutely excited and absolutely thrilled. Uh, the kind of energies that I have felt during the entire reading, they were absolutely fantastic, okay? So, in that reading, I have I've seen what is your energy around Valentine's, what is the energy of the person, uh, your person around Valentine's, okay? I've pulled out some romantic messages. At the end of that reading, I've done something fun, a uh, fun thing. It's like I've asked you to ask yourself one question and I have answered you guys in yes or no. Okay, so if you're excited about that reading, the link for that reading is in the description box and the comment section. So let's get started with this YouTube reading now. Okay. So what is your energy, Taurus? King of Swords, Nine of Wands, and the Strength, Energy of Your Person, Two of Cups, the world and nine of swords mutual energy is that of emperor and justice wow the overall theme i see like two people extremely feeling passionate about one another but still holding one another back for whatever reasons okay but i see like two people are feeling absolutely passionate and there is some magnetic attraction between two people over here okay uh, but in spite of this attraction in spite of this passion towards one another the connection has not yet started okay so the king of swords then we have nine of wands and we have strength for you so this is your spread taurus with the king of swords i feel like you are feeling defensive even as of now or you are feeling a bit underconfident when it comes to love and love situations okay uh yes of course the past situation sort of uh, broke your trust the past person broke your trust you may have developed some trust issues because of whatever happened in the past okay it looks like uh you gave a lot in the previous situation, but literally breadcrumbs were being thrown at you. You may have also felt extremely insulted, okay, or embarrassed in the past situation. Like, you kept on giving and uh, you did not get what you deserve. So, probably there was a bit of an embarrassment that you felt, insult that you felt, okay. And because of that, you are being extra cautious when it comes to love and love situations. You with king of swords is like an intelligent person extremely capable person but still the previous situation has created some sort of fear or insecurities inside you or uh, the fear and insecurities are still are still sustaining in that person a very confident and intelligent person but carries some sort of fears and insecurities okay like that person is sort of keeping a lot of wounds and uh, you know, deep down inside that person, there are a lot of wounds and a lot of damage that this person is carrying inside. You haven't healed yourself completely from the previous situation, Taurus. Like, you are excited about love. You are excited about your future. Okay. But at the same time, the grudge about someone or something is not going away. You are still holding grudges in your mind about the past person. Okay. Uh, again, we have nine of wands. Okay. So it's like, this is an energy Taurus where maybe there is a bit of a low confidence or maybe there is a 
not enough of motivation towards love right now but but you are coming across as like i know i understand i probably don't have enough of confidence or i'm not feeling enough of uh, i'm not feeling motivated enough to towards my love life or maybe towards other things in your life but still that doesn't mean i'm giving up okay it's like i am holding this one wand and i am not giving up on things easily so that's that's a spirit that's what i would like to say that is the spirit taurus okay like whatever has happened in the past you haven't allowed that to impact you yes you have developed certain things inside you fear or insecurities or trust issues but you're working on those you're working on those yes you haven't healed completely but that doesn't mean you are not working towards those issues okay in fact you have the required strength you are being blessed okay you are being watched by your ancestors you are being watched by your uh, what shall i say your ancestors your spiritual team you are being watched by them continuously okay and what i feel is protection is being offered to you okay uh you are being shown guidance there is an inner voice that is probably trying to tell you something okay let me pull out some clarifiers around this around the strength card spirit please provide me some clarifier around the strength card please provide me some clarifier around the strength card spirit please provide me clarification around the strength card king of pentacles interesting okay taurus looks like someone is about to enter in your life and your spiritual team and your ancestors they're trying to prepare you up for this okay they're trying to guide you they're trying to show you the right direction okay fine you need to heal yourself this is what you need to do okay uh you know they're trying to push you in into circumstances which will sort of force you to face your fears maybe it will sort of help you to increase your confidence okay it will sort of help you to work on your trust issues or your insecurities okay i see i see certain situations are happening which may look a bit uncomfortable or out of your comfort zone but those situations are happening because you are directly indirectly being pushed uh towards someone someone is about to enter in your life and universe is sort of preparing you for this so i would rather say like if you are feeling fearful about certain things and if you're holding yourself back from certain things because you have fears or insecurities inside you don't hold yourself back rather go confront that situation get into that situation okay face your fears there are certain things what i'm hearing is like you're being asked to get out of your comfort zone okay because this is going to be sort of helpful uh in this situation where this person like you are going to meet this person i mean look like look whoever is coming towards you they are this amazing person financially stable person they are this highly confident person they are they are very highly self aware about themselves okay and it should not be the case like when this person enters in your life you are not confident enough or even when you are equally capable uh, even when you are an equal match to this person you should not <coughs> out of out of insecurities or out of fear or out of low confidence you should not think like oh this person is probably out of my league no you you guys are an equal match please do not underestimate yourself okay so what i see is like universe is sort of preparing you to meet this person some wonderful person is about to enter in your life so whatever is happening in your life it is a sort of an indication that something big is about to happen you are about to meet someone 
टू ऑफ कप्स इट्स अगेन अ वैलिडेशन ऑफ वट एवर आई हैव सेड सम वन इज अबाउट टू एंटर इन योर लाइफ सम वन फ्रॉम अ फार ऑफ डिस्टेंस प्रॉबली सम वन हु हैज रिसेंटली कंप्लीटेड अ साइकिल फॉर सम ऑफ यू दिस कैन बी रेजरेक्शन ऑफ अ पास्ट पर्सन वी हैव टू ऑफ कप्स नेक्स्ट टू द वर्ल्ड सो अ सिचुएशन विच यू थॉट इज ओवर इज एंडेड ओके that situation may get resurrected someone is already missing you someone someone has high hopes regarding a certain situation with you okay someone is feeling extremely passionate towards you or you will start feeling passionate towards someone you are about to meet someone and both of you will have this magnetic attraction towards one another but like i told you nine of wands and nine of swords something that you also need to work upon yourself and your person will also have to work upon themselves i told you right with the emperor and with the justice i felt like uh two people who are feeling extremely passionate towards one another there is this extreme magnetic attraction towards one another but still either there won't be enough of confidence initially to take a leap of faith towards one another or i see you guys will be holding back from one another one another for whatever reasons like not enough of confidence some insecurities okay some fear okay ultimately the union is going to happen ultimately union is there but initially both of you are coming across as bit both of you are coming across as extremely cautious not bit extremely cautious okay All right I hope this resonates and hit like share and subscribe and comment down below and if you are interested in the valentines reading link for that reading is in description box and in the comment section one of the most beautiful readings wonderful energies i have absorbed during the entire reading and it was a very fun filled reading okay all right i hope this resonates bye bye then